Hello Primary 5, how are you my dear students? Today I'm going to explain Unit 3, Lesson 1, Food Relationships Among Living Organisms. We know that food is the main source of energy for all living organisms. Without food, the living organisms cannot live. Living organisms as animals and the plants. We know that the plants can make their own food through a process called the photosynthesis. The plants use the carbon dioxide from the air, water from the soil, and sunlight from the sun to make its own food. So, green plants are called autotrophic organisms or producers. Why? Because they can make their own food using carbon dioxide, sunlight, and water. Here, this plant is a producer or autotrophic organism. Why? Because it can make its own food using sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water, and it will make its own food through a process called the photosynthesis. Animals depend on plants in their feeding directly. As this one, as this goat, as you see here, it eats only plants. And the animals that feed on plants only are called herbivores. Herbivores, they are the animals that feed only on plants. So, animals depend on plants directly or they can depend on plants indirectly. Like this wolf here, here it is eating the deer or goat. This goat was eating the plants. So, animals that feed on other animals are called carnivores. So, animals depend on plants in their feeding directly or indirectly. And the animals that feed only on plants, they are called herbivores. And the animals that feed only on animals or on other animals, they are called carnivores. We know that we have to know that types of food relationships, we have three types. Predation, symbiosis, and saprophytism. saprophytism. The predation, here, what is the predation? Predation is a food relationship between two living organisms where one devours another one. As this snake, it will eat this bird. So here, this relationship is called predation. Predation, again, is a food relationship between two living organisms where one organism as this snake devours another one as the bird. So this relationship is called the predation. The predator and the prey. What is the predator and what is the prey? The predator here, this, uh, uh, this tiger, here the organism that devours another organism. And the prey, it is the animal that is devoured or it is the devoured animal. And this relationship is called the predation. The predation is the food relationship between two living organisms which one devours another. The one that devours is called the predator and the one that it is devoured is called the prey. As here, look here, this line devours a deer. This line devours a deer, so the line is the predator and the deer is a prey. Here, this wolf devours a rabbit. The wolf is the predator and the rabbit is a prey. And the relationship here between the lion and the deer and the wolf and rabbit, it is a predation relationship. Also here, this is a predation relationship between a cat and a mouse. A cat is a predator and the mouse is the prey. And even here, the relationship between this spider and this insect is a predation relationship. The spider is the predator and the insect is the prey. And we have to know that spiders make woven or this web to catch insects. 
they will stick on the on the woven and it will be able to catch its prey. The predation relationship is a temporary relationship. Why? Because it ends by devouring the prey. This relationship will be for just time. It will not. It is. It is not a permanent relationship because it ends by devouring the prey or killing the predator, killing the prey, and this is called the predation is a temporary relationship. Look here at this food chain. You find you will find the tree, then deer and lion. Here, the tree is the producer because it can make its own food, as we said, using sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. Then, the deer, it is the herbivore. Very good. The herbivore because it feeds on the uh, plants. And we have the line. It is the carnivore because the line feeds on other animals. Here, the deer, if we look here to the deer and to, to the lion, the deer is the prey and the lion is the predator and the relationship between the deer and the lion, it is a predation relationship. We have predation in plants. Predation in plants is less, is less common than animals. Why? Because plants can make their own food. But we can find predation in plants as in the insect eaters or the insectivorous plants or the carnivorous plants. Here we have two examples. We have the Dionea and the Drosera. The Drosera, they, they are insectivorous plants or they are insect, ever, insect eaters. They cannot absorb compounds from soil, so they trap the tiny animals as insects inside the two parts or inside the Drosera parts so they can absorb all the nutrients from the insect body. Look here at this uh, at this video here the first one is this the dionia. As you see here the dionia has two parts when the end when the insect stands up on the plant or on the uh, the dionia part it will trap the insect inside then it will absorb all the nutrients it needs from the insect body as you see here this plant is called the insectivorous or the insect eater it cannot make its own food because it cannot absorb the compounds from the soil This is the first example and it is called the Dionea plant or the insectivorous or carnivorous plants that they feed on insects or they absorb all the nutrients from the insect body. Even this tiny frog. Then, after absorbing all the nutrients from the insect, it will open again and waiting for another prey. This is the second example, it is the Drosera. The Drosera, it is also another example for the insectivorous. As you see here, it will turn around the, uh, the insect body to absorb all the nutrients from the insect. Okay, and now how animals can protect themselves from the predation? Animals have many ways to defend themselves against predation. We will take two of these ways how animals protect themselves. The first way is the camouflage and the second one is mimicry. Camouflage. What is the camouflage? 
The camouflage is a phenomenon in which a living organism can change its color to simulate the color of the environment to hide from enemies. Simulate. Simulate the color means to be the same color as the environment around it to hide from enemies. It is the first way the animals or the living organisms can use it to hide from their enemies. The first example we have the chameleon. The chameleon, as you see here in this picture, it looks like the plants around, so it can hide from the predators. And here, also here, this is the chameleon, here this one, this is the chameleon, also it looks like what is around, the environment around, so it can hide from its enemy. And here, look here at this one, here even this one is looking as the environment around, so it will be able to hide from its enemies. And the second example, we have the frog. Look here at this frog. It looks like the tree or the environment around. So this is called the camouflage. Camouflage is it changing the color to simulate the environment around. And here, this is insect. Here, as you see here, we have this insect. It looks like the dead leaves to hide from the animals. And here the butterfly also is using camouflage to hide. And here this fish. Fish is using also camouflage to hide from enemies or to attack its prey. Look here to this bird, to this owl. Even this one, this owl or this bird, it looks like what is around. So this is called camouflage. Camouflage is it changing the color to simulate the environment to hide from enemies. Here, this is, this is a funny video to show you how the chameleon it changes its color to hide from other animals or from the predators. As you see here, it will change its green color to purple. This is called camouflage. Another color, also it will change its color. It will be red as the sunglasses. Then it will be black. Okay. And now the second way for animals to hide it is mimicry. Mimicry, it is the phenomenon in which harmless living organisms imitates other harmful or poisonous organism to frighten its enemies and escapes from them. So the animals will, will be afraid to attack them. As this one, as we have an example here, as the bees simulate the wasps by forming lines on their bodies to frighten their enemies. Okay, look here at this picture. You will find here the bee, the first one, it looks like the wasp. Here, this, these stripes on this body will frighten the birds or the other, or the other uh, enemies, so they will not eat it. It is a way for animals to protect itself, and this is called mimicry. And this is called mimicry. Here we have another video. This one, if you look here at this one, this is a larva. It is a tiny, weak insect. It looks like a snake to frighten the enemies or frighten the birds so it will be safe and the predators will uh, not eat it. And this is called mimicry. Here, this uh, t 
tiny or weak insect looks like a snake to frighten the predators. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Thank you and goodbye.